everyone. Welcome back. What are we making today, kiddo? Do you remember? What is this all for? We're going to be making marshmallows today, our own homemade marshmallows. Yeah, like marshmallows, marshmallows. Who doesn't like marshmallows? And of course, we need a lot of sugar. We do need a lot of sugar, yes. yes. So after making the hot cocoa bombs, I thought it would be kind of fun to do marshmallows because you can flavor them anything you want. And I thought peppermint marshmallows or cinnamon marshmallows would be really cool for hot chocolate. Which flavor are we doing? Today, we're just going to do vanilla and test out this recipe. Yeah, I can't wait to do vanilla. <laughs> I never tasted vanilla. You've tasted vanilla before, silly. Oh, uh, marshmallow? Yeah. They're just going to taste like regular plain marshmallows. Okay, so what you need for this recipe is one and a half cups of sugar, one tablespoon of vanilla extract, and you can use any different kind of extract you want to make different flavored marshmallows, three packets of unflavored gelatin. Oh, and first smell everyone. You guys smell everything? This, this smells like nothing. Can you guess what this is? It smells like nothing. It's salt. One eighth of a teaspoon of salt. That should smell sweet. Now this. Uh, can I smell that? One cup of light corn syrup. <laughs> Don't get your nose stuck in now. it. And we're going to need one cup of water. This doesn't smell like anything sweet, nothing. Right. That's, that has nothing in it, and this nothing. But this. They don't have as much of a Vanilla! Smell. That one has a strong smell. <laughs> okay, that's enough of the taste testing, silly. So first, what you're going to do is you're going to combine the gelatin with a half a cup of water in a stand mixer. That's All right, okay. so go ahead, add half a cup of water to the bowl, and then the gelatin. Gelatin. And you're going to whisk it together until it's combined. Once you have that gelatin and water mixed together, you're just going to let it sit and set while you make the simple syrup. All right, in the saucepan... It doesn't, it doesn't smell good. No, it doesn't smell like anything yet. It's, un, it's unflavored. So. No, it doesn't smell good. In this saucepan, you're going to add in your half a cup of water. Go ahead, Molly. Our little chef. Half a cup of water in there. Now it's our water bowl. Okay, silly willy. Now the sugar. No. Dump in the sugar. Okay, this is a lot of sugar. It is a lot of sugar. Okay, dump it in. Let's dump it in. The salt. The salt. Good job. And then you're going to dump in the corn syrup. That's got like a sweet smell to it, doesn't it? Okay, dump it all in. I'm gonna get a spatula so we can scrape off. <laughs> oh, and look on the inside, it looks cool. Lower down. It does look pretty cool. Let's get all that corn syrup in oh, there. Oh, hold on, hold on. Can you pick up some so I can smell it with that? Absolutely. It doesn't smell like anything. No? You're right. It really doesn't smell like anything. Okay. Once you get everything poured in, you're going to heat this up until all the sugars dissolve. Okay. We forgot to mention, first we forgot to mention, you're going to need to take a pan and grease it. So yeah. once you have the marshmallow all mixed, you're going to pour it into this pan to fully set. Oh, and I forgot to tell you, I might be back, I might not, for, but... I'm gonna let you take over. I'm gonna let mom take over. Thank you, kiddo. And then for the very end, you need some powdered sugar to sprinkle on top of your marshmallows. All right, once you've dissolved all the sugars, you're going to let this cook. You're gonna turn it up to high heat. Let it cook for about five to 10 minutes until it reaches the temperature of 240 degrees. Don't mix it or stir it at all at this point. Just let it heat up. Okay, now you want to watch this closely. You don't want to stir it at all, but as soon as it gets to 240 degrees, you want to take it off the heat immediately. All right. Once you get this up to temperature, you're going to turn your mixer on low, and you're going to slowly add the simple syrup. And try to add it so it touches, it falls into the bowl, and not into the gelatin, so that it doesn't splash. 
once this is fully incorporated, you're going to turn this up to high and watch what happens. As you can see, this is going to start to expand. It's going to get white and billowy. You're going to continue to mix this until it's stiff and cool down to like a lukewarm temperature. After that, you're going to mix in your extract and put it in your prepared pan. Okay, so my little chef is busy doing other things. So I got the marshmallow into the prepared pan. And now what you're gonna do is you're gonna sprinkle some powdered sugar over the top of it. I guess you can just do it any way you want to. And here is our final result. Now we're gonna let this sit overnight uncovered to let the marshmallow fully set and we'll be back tomorrow with the taste test. All right, we're back. Our marshmallows are done and we're gonna taste test them now. So what do you think? Take a little bite. <laughs> They're really good. They're really good. Can I have a little piece? Let's see. Mmm, they are really good. I'm not a big marshmallow fan and these are actually really good. They're very, very strong with the vanilla extract flavor. So ne maybe next time we'll do a little bit less, but they are really good. What are you going to use them for? Our marshmallows. I'm just going to eat them like that. What do you think, kid? Good? Good. Okay, well, that was super fun. Thank you everyone for watching. I hope you enjoyed the marshmallow making. And do you want to say anything else? Yeah. Nope, that's it. Okay.